there we go. Feels like a good one. If it's not a pike, I think it's a pike. Nope. There we go. Alright, one well, smaller one. Wasn't the size I was catching over here. There we go. Another one is small. Feels good. Better one. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> good net job there, eh? That was good. Outdoors, cold tags, best non penetrating cold tags in the game. Keep running, keep running, keep running. So that's more like the fish I was catching over there. What? That was more like the fish I was catching over there. I think there's another one under there. Keep her down, keep her down, keep her down. This is even bigger than that. Yeah. This is actually a good fish. Keep her down, keep her down, keep her down, keep her down. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a good one. That's so oh, dude. <laughs> dude, that's a that's a thought. Hey, give me some. That's what I'm talking about right there, dude. Got him? Yeah. I watched that one eat it. I know, I'm gonna boat, I'm gonna boat flip it. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Dude, I watched that thing eat it. Did you? Yeah. That's a huge, that's a huge game player right there. Yeah, dude, that's a nice fish. That's a three. Yeah. Really Egged one. Green All right, look at that. Call. What's up? Pass upon to a call. Foot out? Yep. Okay. There's a green wood. Yeah. This one? That goes in there. This one? Yeah, that'll go in there. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, I watched that thing eat it. Bro, that's true. Dig it. Maybe. Might. Might. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Thank 
you. Yeah, that's a call. You think? I don't know. What We got some bigger ones though. A lot of people are bad for average. I want to keep the tag on the giant one, or put it so we know which one it is. We'll know which one it is. We'll be able to easily tell. We'll do it for tiebreaker anyway for points. <laughs> okay, the big one is. It's not a Four or five. Four or five. Here, hold it. Four or five. You're doing a guys. Kenogi, we got eight, yeah, well, 22 right, pounds we'll even. Pictures? Want to just put them back in the live well or whatever? Hey, what's going on, guys? Aaron not here. So, as you guys saw, we got eighth place. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty proud of how we did. Eighth out of 18 on a body of water that we've never fished before. And didn't really have that good of a practice. Um, we're pretty pleased with ourselves. So Michael here is going to talk about uh, just kind of the conditions we were like, given and, and our game plan. So yeah, so we came into it. We kind of felt um, with you know post spawn conditions is you know kind of where everything is, especially in northern Minnesota here. Um, we had some buddies that fished the tournament last weekend. Um, and they were kind of on the tail end of that spawn. So we, we had a pretty good idea. Post spawn was going to be the, the, the main part of where the fish were going to be at. Um, so we thought docks, inside weed edges, you know, that's kind of all, like I said, neither of us have ever been here. So we didn't know too much about the lake. We just kind of went, hey, you know, we're going to try try this kind of where we think things are. And so uh, practice, we, we didn't really fish too many docks. It's kind of controlling more on high and, and just casting a lot of moving baits. And, and that's kind of where you're going to yeah, carry so, into here. Yeah, I mean, Practice wise, I fished a swim jig a lot, an alternate tackle swim jig, bluegill color, um, 5 16 ounce. I trailered it with a uh, menace scrub from Strike King, green pumpkin. And I'm throwing this on a 744 Dobbins Champion XP with a, uh, I've got a 7 3 gear ratio, 35 pound braid. Pretty much all I was doing is targeting that outside weed line of uh, coattail cabbage mixed. And, getting a lot of bites in the sunny days like today you know tournament day i got a lot of bites on this but it, it, it was 
cloudy for practice, so I threw the uh, chat on chatterbait. You know, three eighth ounce chatterbait on a 736 CB glass. Another Champion XP with a 6.3 Tatula. We got 12 pound fluorocarbon, green pumpkin, spray grass, trailer, skinny dipper. And I threw this, you know, practices you guys saw a lot. That uh, inside weed line and right outside from those docks. You know, just slow rolled it. And then tournament day, I mean, it caught some fish, but it didn't catch as, as much as a swim jig. And main tournament, you know, I didn't flip the docks because I didn't want to bust our dock spots up, but it was uh, just a, a Pachanko, Senko style. Uh, bluegill color, I got this on a 702 Fury Series, 10 pound braid. Um, and just skip it underneath the docks and boltless. And, you know, as you guys saw, we caught a couple. He, you know, he had pretty much the same uh, setup, but, you know, have him talk about his. Yeah, so like Aaron was saying, you know, he was kind of targeting the outside edges. Um, I was targeting more of the docks and, and skipping. And it's actually his first day really fishing a bunch of docks today. Yeah. So we, uh, we got that going for him and he did phenomenal. So actually, yeah, uh, like you was saying, the uh, bluegill color and Jingler has a nice wobble to it. Um, I'm actually on a 703 uh, Sierra. It's one of the original series we have. And, um, I like a little bit heavier rod when I set the hook. And, and, and like you saw today, you know, those fish will sometimes wrap around those dock walls once, and you really got to have a, a heavier backbone, at least in my opinion, um, to really horse those fish out. And and yeah, we got we got one good one on it. Um, one key thing I like, and, and some of you guys have probably seen in the video and everything, but it's that, it's that colored line. If you notice, both Aaron and I, have both have colored line on our reels reason being that you skip it under there and i like to have a lot of slack you can you can still see the line you can see the bites you know like that big one that i got really didn't hit hard at all and also it was just you know you, i saw a twitch of the line doop doop and i'm like oh set it and it's like oh there it is you really can't and it was on the calm side a lot of the stuff we were fishing was pretty windy so and that was on a calm dock so you really those fish were they come up and grab it but they weren't just smacking it where you can just, you know, all some line takes off running. Like usually, you know, your line just jolts. And, and they were just kind of, you see like a little tick, tick, you know, almost like a typical bluegill or, or rock bass bite. But yeah, that was kind of what we did. And I mean, that was a ton of fun today where we caught 100 fish. Oh, yeah, I mean, easily. I mean, just pounded the fish. There's a lot, of, not a lot of big ones, obviously, but you know, congratulations to the guys that sacked them. Obviously, we didn't, we didn't sack enough to cash a check, but we were darn close. And, for never being on the body of water, I think we did. Yeah, I mean, decent pretty, at least. I mean, I'm pretty happy with what we did. Did it win? So. But no, and we. I mean, I'm a pretty big deep fishing guy, so fishing shallow and doing well was a really big confidence booster for me. So, I was really pleased with how we did. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So beyond to the next one. How many chain? Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Yeah. We. We have a pretty good history on the hominy. Yeah, we do. So, so don't you knock, knock on you know, wood in the tritons, but yeah, uh, knock on wood somewhere, somewhere. So we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this new little series I want to try and start up. Um, please, I like it. Let, let us know. Let me know how you guys like it. So uh, make sure let you guys know. rate. You know, give us a give us a like. Share this on Facebook and. Uh, Comments are awesome, you know, just critique us, you know, if you, if you want to see. We do have feelings. Yeah, take it easy. Feelings, <laughs> but if you guys want, you know, see different kind of bass fishing videos, just, you know, let me know. And I'm going to try and get as much as I can out. So, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys later. Drop in the comments. Yep. Any questions, you know, rods. Slide in the DMs. Rods, tackle, anything. So, you know, like I always say, you guys keep the tradition going. You know, make sure you guys are safe on the water. Most importantly, make sure you guys have fun. Thanks.